going Diddy Kong and Sonic, while the red team of Blue and Ten going Charizard and Fox, respectively. Nice to hear that, Gamer GT. Uh, Fourth of July was great. That's really, really awesome to hear. All right, so we're going to hop into round one right here. Uh, let's see. In terms of... Uh, I know that uh, Synergy here, uh, Blaziguis and T-Souls, uh, they try to team up as much as possible. T-Souls hasn't uh, been around all that much, but Blaziguis, uh, he told me before, he likes to team up with T-Souls all the time. Uh, and, uh, you know, the top players of uh, Blue and Ten, I'm sure they've played a lot of times already. Um... So we'll see here. All right, so in terms of team matchup, uh, you know, blue plays just, oh, wow. Able to accidentally connect with uh, 10 there by mistake with that forward smash. But he's able to uh, gain a little bit of traction back, taking out T-Souls, and uh, I believe that was 10 that took out Blaziguis as well. Um, you know, banana play is dangerous in doubles, but like, I feel like that's going to be one of the key things in order to stop the flow of Blue and Ten's movement right now. Uh, you know, Sonic, again, like, he'll run into it most often, but uh, if if the Sonic, if T-Souls can play a little more, like, of the weight game, like, Sonic can just, like, spin dash charge and then stop, or spin dash go and then shield, things like that. If he can play mix-up game with his approaches and just be aware of where the banana is at the same time, I feel like this team can be a pretty big threat for uh, Blue and Ten. And uh, that connection from Blaze Kiss, the up air, actually takes out Blue's uh, first stock. And um, and there goes Ten. T-Souls able to take out Ten. And uh, right now it's advantage Blue team, but uh, they're at pretty high percentages. And so long as... I think Fox is going to be the main... All right, the way, the way that I like um, judge doubles teams is like I see one person... Being a character that can rack up a lot of damage, whether it be combos or whether it be you know, just fast movement. And then the other character can be uh, the heavy hitter, the one that can take out stocks with, uh, like, smashes and things like that. Um, like, Cloud obviously can do a little bit of both, uh, more so the uh, the smashing or the one that claims stocks. Um, but I really like the matchup of Charizard and Fox here. Fox is going to be the one that racks up damage, and Charizard's probably going to be the one that takes out stocks. You know, Fox can, uh, take out stocks as well, and he can also get that, you know, dash to up smash off a lot of characters. But, um, Diddy can claim stocks as well, but not so much as a powerhouse that, like, uh, Charizard would be. Uh... But, like, I think, like, if they make the adjustments that I was, uh, throwing out there... Like, just really, really, really smart, really, really adept uh, banana gameplay and uh, just mix-up game from Sonic. Uh, they could take this out. But right now, it's looking, yeah, like the advantage of the blue team. But a back air was able to even it out. And right now, it's at a little bit of a disadvantage on Blaziguis because he has 80%. And blue trying to find this uh, down, uh, down air spike. Not going to get it, though. Back air, though, they'll be able to take it out. All right. So, yeah, that was a uh, even showing. I was talking matchup that entire match, so I'm, I'll try to focus a little bit more on the actual game the second time around. Uh, but yeah, it came down to last stock. Uh, one character is on both sides, so this is a pretty even matchup overall. I like it. I like it a lot. And so we see the stage pick from uh, Blue Team will be... Let's see. Something that has platforms, but not... A whole lot. Yeah, I think Town and City would probably be better. Be, uh, be better. Oh, no, actually, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's true, because uh, it has the low ceiling, but that could also benefit uh, Charizard and uh, Fox as well, so. You know, actually, I don't see, like, the, the team setups. So I'm not sure any one team would get a advantage overall, especially with the... Oh, wow! What is going off off stage here? And, yeah, it was just a little too short with that up air. Or that up E, sorry. And uh, very early stock claimed from uh, uh, on Blaziguis from 10, going in deep and taking him out. Very nice. And that could actually set the uh, the tide of the, uh, this entire second round here. Blaziguis trying to make it up, uh, trying to cut off the uh, downward approaches of Blue. But he's able to find purchase on one of the platforms and help out his teammate there. But T-Soul's getting the back air. He had to back off because that Flare Blitz came out. That is real, pretty much unchallengeable when you throw that out. 
So it's a good approach to get back on stage if you're very far out. But then again, it could be like uh, Luigi's Green Missile, uh, per, uh, talking from personal experience there. But uh, if it does, um, if it does hit an opponent and they uh, get canceled, uh, if if it connects with an opponent, uh, and um, it, it basically gimp recovery if you don't have your uh, your jump, uh, because like if you if you expend your jump and you use Green Missile and uh, your opponent can just throw out their own body and if if they're at low percent they can just get hit with it and they can stop your horizontal movement and that leaves you to. Just get your stock uh, being taken. Uh, blue trying to find... Uh, okay, he gets back because uh, they were trying to focus on red, uh, 10 there a little bit. And his stock is taken. I wasn't watching entirely who it was. Right now we have 5-2. to Back air from blue. Able to take out one on T-Souls. And it's 3-5. to five. Charizard looking on his way out though. Especially at 183. Oh, was that like a phantom down air that I just saw? I wasn't entirely sure. And a very nice stage spike from T-Souls. Very nice uh, recognition of that back air, realizing where Blue's um, recovery was going to end up. And it was a just con very nice connection. Uh, Blaze is trying to get off 10's uh, uh, stock here. Get a bit, bit of damage while T-Souls works on Blue on the other side. And 10 just finding... Alright, he gets back on main stage. He was having a little bit trouble trying to get back. Uh, yeah, that's the that's the uh, more combos that I want to see from Sonic. Just run in more combos and just mix them up as well uh, with the uh, spin dash stop, things like that. Going in deep. Sonic can afford to do that, but the spring, and he interrupts him again. This might spell a little bit of trouble from, yeah, 10 goes down because of a double spring uh, blockage from uh, T-Souls. Very nice. Back throw, tries to get stage advantage on T-Souls. Throwing out the fire, it's a good option. They can interrupt uh, his fast vertical movement off that spring. Uh, good connection off that dash attack to up smash uh, from blue team there. Blue team's a little bit of platform trouble. They get uh, they get back in. Blue again, thirsty for this down air spike. Accidentally connects with his teammate again. That's the one thing he's got to worry about with that uh, recovery off that uh, flare blitz. And uh, Tiesel's, uh is on his last stock. And uh, so long as blue goes down and... Oh, an excellent tech from blue because that would have spelled trouble and a fantastic... Down spike from Blue. It was looking like it was going to go one way, and then, you know, just Blue is able to shift the momentum so fast. Very nice neutral. Uh, that They'll be able to make it one stock all around, but Sonic's at 54, and Sonic's going to have a lot of aerial attacks that leave him vulnerable for Fox to move in. But he gets a back air on 10, send him out, but Blue's ready to grab. Gets the most uh, opportune damage off of it, and an up B able to take out. Uh, what was that? T-Souls, I believe. And that's a uh, 2-0 for Blue and 10. They are going uh, to advance to uh, 